Hey Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to another reading. This is a general reading, guys. This may or may not resonate. Overall energy, Eight of Wands in reverse here. There is a lack of communication here. Things are not moving forward. Stuck in stagnant energy. One of you could be holding back communication, okay? Or just dealing the progress. Or the progress is as fast as you thought it was. Could be traveling. Maybe you want to travel towards someone, but there's a delay in traveling. But I'm feeling more communication. What's the Eight of Wands in reverse here? Yeah, because, and because there is no communication, there's a lack of clarity here. Someone is just having a hard time focusing on the positive or being optimistic, okay? Someone's just lacking optimism in the situation here because things are not moving forward. On the part of the sun in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse, yeah. There's one person here who is um, playing head games, okay? Or this is just someone here who's just not taking action towards you okay you could have lost your motivation you could have lost the passion for this person you're no, no longer someone's no longer interested uh you know as they were before in pursuing this relationship the attraction isn't there anymore this could be someone here who's just being an attention seeker four of cups in reverse here just fell out missed opportunities what i'm getting because there was a lack of action how you view this person is the Ten of Cups here. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups. You view this person as someone you want a happily ever after with. Or you can view this person as someone who's just happy and content where they are at present. Okay, guys. Tell me about the Ten of Cups here. Yeah, Ten of Swords in reverse here. You view this person as someone who's trying to pick up the pieces and move forward. Can I have more cards here? Nine of Cups here. Okay, so I'm getting here is that you view this person as a hap as you want as you're happily ever after. You definitely want to revive and have a reconciliation with this person here after things ended badly between you guys. You definitely want to get this relationship back from the brink of failure here. And with the night of Gacha, you view this person as someone you have a lot of love for. <laughs> you want to be vulnerable and. You want to express themselves, express yourself to this person. This person views you as the fool. So this person views you as someone uh, who wants to have a leap of faith, leap, take a leap of faith. What's the fool here? With a magician here, this person does view you as someone very, very manipulative. But at the same time, they view you as someone who's wanting to manifest a new beginning with them and start all over again with them. What's the magician and the fool? In the chat here, yeah, they view you as someone who's very, very hell-bent and determined on moving forward here, okay? Wanting to win on an energetic level. That's how they view you. Maybe they view you as someone who they want victory with, yeah? They could view you as someone they want a, a brand new beginning with, okay? Eight of Swords in Reverse is in your feelings. Why is this here? Why is the Eight of Swords in Reverse here? Yeah, this person is wanting to release themselves from a situation, okay? They feel the need to, I mean, they want to release themselves from a situation and they want to move towards you with a brand new beginning, okay? But something practical, something commitment. It's a pentacle, this commitment, right? It's a golden opportunity to restart a connection from scratch, but with a lot of stability, security, okay? A lot of longevity. Something sustainable, something tangible. What's the, you know, what's the, uh... It's a once in reverse here, but um, looks like um, there is still some time before there can be a new start here. They want this with you, but with the ace of once in reverse, I feel this person wants this with you. They're very passionate about you, but they won't take action. That's what's happening here. They do view you as someone who you who um, has a lot of love for them. Because they view you as this person, you, if you're on this side here, right? Leo, you view this person as someone who has a lot of love for you, okay? And you view this person as wanting the Ten of Cups with you. Okay, on this person, and their feelings as the Ten of Pentacles, you both want the same thing. What the fuck? What's the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, they're watching you. 
They're watching you from a distance. Give me one more card for the Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Swords here. And yeah, with the judgment here, this person wants a reconciliation. You both want a reconciliation. You do. See, that's why both your energies are so similar, right? You both view each other as wanting each other. That's what it is. This person views you as someone who wants to take a leap of faith, okay? They view you as someone who is wanting to manifest a new beginning with them and are very determined on an energetic level to win. You view this person as someone who has a lot of love for them, okay? Who has a lot of love for you and you view this person as someone who wants to revive this connection and you view them as your Ten of Cups. You both have equal love for each other. You both want, they have the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Pentacles here, you know? You both want the same thing. This person definitely wants a reconciliation and you want a new start too, but you won't take action. You want this person to take action towards you and they're watching you. They're watching you from a distance. Uh, actually, you plan on taking the Empress in reverse here. So I think you're fed up of investing your energy into this person. You have nothing more to give. Why is the Empress in reverse here? You gave and gave to this situation, okay? And you got nothing back. And that's why you're letting it be a missed opportunity here. Three of Cups in reverse and the Four of Cups in reverse here. Yeah, see, you are not going to feed into this connection, please, for right now, okay? You don't want to nurture this connection for right now because you've released yourself from this situation, okay? You want this new beginning or you've... Um, You want a brand new start with them, but again, you're not going to take action, for sure. Because it's been very hard for you to release yourself from the situation where you felt very stuck, tied, and bound to. See, that's why you're coming up as a queen of wands in reverse here. You have no clarity about the situation. Because things are at a halt here, nothing's moving forward here. And you, with the interest in reverse here, I feel that you're just, you know, you're not having fun and relaxing. I feel you're more in that masculine energy where you're trying to be in the driver's seat and you're trying to control the entire situation here, okay? But again, somehow, somehow here, you're just not wanting to reconcile. You want to take your own time if right now. You don't want to get back to this person here because you're just going to keep this as a missed opportunity if this person doesn't come towards you. Nine of Cups. That's the action this person plans on taking. So this person plans on moving towards their wish fulfillment. Tell me about the Nine of Cups here. Why is this the action this person put, this person plans on taking? Why can't I talk? Why is the Nine of Cups here? The tower here. Okay, this person's going to come in towards you, I think. I think this person has a huge epiphany, a huge realization. See, judgment, tower here. Six of wands here. This person has a huge, huge realization, okay? The, an epiphany, a huge shake up in their life, okay? That you are their wish fulfillment, okay? And they want things to change drastically. And with the six of wands here, they definitely want success and victory with you. They do. This person's had like um, a huge shake up in their life, okay? They've had a huge tower moment in their life, okay? But I feel in their actions with the tower here, this person's going to come in towards you all of a sudden unexpectedly, okay? You're not going to be seeing, you won't see this coming. Why the Nine of Swords in reverse here in the near future? Yeah, this person in the near future, someone's going to get out of their head. Someone wants to sleep better, okay? This is someone who's wanting to release the worry and release the stress. This person sees the light at the end of the tunnel and with the Seven of Cups in reverse, this person is very clear about what this want, what they want, okay? They're seeing things for what it is. What's the Seven of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Swords in reverse? The Emperor here, yeah. Someone's finally coming in to take control of their life, take control of the situation. No longer staying back, no longer being passive, no longer having that laid back approach, okay? No longer wanting to be a control freak. They're coming in with structure, dead serious about you, okay? This is the masculine here for the Emperor and Empress here. That's a very divine connection here. That's a true pair situation. This person could be someone who was just being a control freak, always wanting the upper hand, not budging, not seeing things from your point of view, no action being taken from their side, okay? Being very stubborn, but now they finally realize they're no longer living in illusions and they finally see the truth for what it is, okay? And um, they want to get out of their head and they want to make things right with you, for sure, okay? Uh... The unlikely outcome is the Six of Swords in reverse here. Someone's still stuck on you, okay? This, this person can't move on. What's the Six of Swords in reverse here as the outcome? <sighs> three of Swords in reverse. Give me one more card for the Three of Swords in reverse.
Someone wants to come in. You know, someone wants to come back towards you, okay? To reconcile with the three of swords in reverse. So this person wants to heal the connection, okay? They want forgiveness. They want a second chance here with the judgment here. But with the two of cups in reverse here, I feel you, Leo, are going to make a very heart, a very head over heart decision here, okay? Because there's a lack of balance here, right? I don't think you're going to let this person in. Even though they're coming towards you, wanting to take control of the situation here. Because see, you already see this person as a missed opportunity. You're fed up, you know. You're drained. You have nothing more to give to this person. This person could take like forever to come towards you, you know. And now that they're so determined to come towards you and make things right, you are not on the same page with them anymore, okay. I feel you don't feel that love anymore. Things have changed. You don't see them the way you used to see them before. That's what I'm getting. Because see how you view them is like uh, the Ten of Cups, right? You do view them as you're happily ever after here. You see them as someone, you know, who's wanting to recover, you know, who's wanting to, um, you know, uh, get this relationship that you thought was over. Then you view them as someone who wants to get that relationship back to life. And Knight of Cups, you view them as someone who has a lot of love for you. Yeah, you, you, you could even view them as someone who wants to come towards you and apologize. And this person views you as someone who they want a brand new beginning with you, okay? They view you as someone who wants to take a leap of faith, okay? They could see you as someone who's manifesting a, a new cycle with them, okay? But with the chariot here, I do somehow, somehow also, I feel that with the chariot here, this person views you as someone who's very determined and helping on moving forward. Yeah, you know what I'm getting? This is a second story here. This may resonate with a lot of people here. I'm getting that this person views you as someone who's wanting to start all over again on your own, manifest and manifesting a new beginning and opportunity without this person here and moving forward. Yep. That's what I'm getting. They view you as someone who's moving forward here, for sure, okay? And that's why with the judgment and the page of swords here and the ten of pentacles, now this person wants to come back towards you with the reconciliation. Yeah, see? You have that ace of pentacles. There is an opportunity here to have a new start with them, okay? But you've released yourself from them, okay? With the eight of swords and reverse. This is a situation that you probably were stuck. You know, you probably thought you could never get over them, but you finally did. And that's why with the Ace of Wands in reverse, so you're not taking action towards them, although there's a lot of passion here. You're just losing that um, that mojo, losing that enthusiasm here. That's why I see you as the Queen of Commons in reverse. You're someone who's just no longer interested in pursuing this relationship anymore. Yeah, that's why as the outcome here, I think you're going to make a very heart over head decision here. A very head over heart decision here and I don't think you're going to take them back. That's what I feel. But they're coming towards you. They can't move on from you, okay? They want to reconcile for sure. They want a reconciliation. But it's going to be up to you whether you want to take them back or not, Leo. Okay? That's what I have for you. Hope this resonates. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.